Hello everyone, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video, and today, today we're talking about why voting with your wallet works. The reason why Final Shape was delayed was because Bungie missed 45% of their projected revenue from those pre-orders for Final Shape. Presumably those are the same type or similar criteria that they had for Lightfall. And obviously, I think we can all say that Lightfall was definitely not good, but the reason the pre-orders went so well, if you don't know, is because Witch Queen was such a great DLC. Witch Queen is the pinnacle of recent Destiny 2 expansions, with Forsaken being the best before that, in my opinion. Obviously, you can have your own opinion, but... Let's be honest, if you look at Shadowkeep reviews, Beyond Light reviews, and then compare them to Forsaken and Witch Queen, well, you see my point. <clears throat> Collabs are a cool idea. And I, I really, really dislike this, because Fortnite is a, is a very, very, very popular game. And I have bought one Fortnite Battle Pass in my gaming history. Okay? I play... I don't play Fortnite that often, in fact, I haven't played it in maybe a month or two. And before that, it was probably a month or two in between the last time I played as well. But the point here is that the Battle Pass I bought, I got so many cosmetics from, it's insane. It's crazy. The only time I went to go play Fortnite was because they had the Destiny skins. And I bought one. I bought one because... Man, isn't it great to be Commander Zavala and do the gritty on the enemies that you kill? I mean, it's it's funny. It's it's cool. And at the end of the day, it's nothing but harmless fun, right? And I only spent, I think, like $10. So, like, that's not bad at all when you think about it. If the Witcher stuff was $10, like, come on. people, More people would buy it. But it's, it's priced so crazily that I understand why people are outraged. And they should be. And, of course, wanting it for free is one thing, and, and wanting Bungie to drop the price, I think, is a much more reasonable thing, because they have to make some kind of profit from it. Now, even if they went and said, hey, if you play this amount of time this season, you can get the set for free. Because, wh what are you doing? You're giving Bungie your time. What is time? It's money. And I think acknowledging the time investment that some players give is nice and it, it gives people an incentive to play the game outside of just playing the game and that's something that that we've been as the community like we want that i want that like that that would bring in so many people because you have a collab where you say hey you know we're doing a collab with star wars or we're doing a collab with dark souls all Dark Souls fans who play Destiny are going to come in and they're going to play a crap ton of Destiny in that season to get the armor. And that brings in a whole influx of people and it's great for everyone. Dark Souls fans get a cool set, content creators get to show all these Dark Souls fans how to play Destiny, how to farm the most efficiently, and all that jazz. That's that's what Destiny is all about, is sherpaing people you know through content to help them out. And in the end, Bungie gets a bunch of people playing destiny and all they had to do was a collab and guess what it's possible that the people who come in and play maybe you know they were played destiny before and they're coming back because of the collab but the reason they weren't playing is because their investment wasn't seen as something that's valuable so now that their investment can be used to get something valuable like a collab armor set they come and play. So after they do that, they might be like, wow, okay, this game is actually fun. I'm going to pay $10 for the next season. And then, yeah, you know, it is the vicious cycle of capitalism where they get hooked on something and, of course, they're going to continue to pay for it, at least potentially, right? But at least you gave them that set for free. And there, there should always be the, the promise, or at least, the, you know, something that they can attain for free something because that ten dollar per season is gonna keep destiny afloat and that's it's simple it's so simple and much easier and and you're gonna get so many more people with that as opposed to the 
the things like like the starter pack that came out and of course the witcher set which most people cannot afford to get or simply don't deem it as something that they should get because it's again outrageously priced a great example of cosmetics that were free is the ghost of the deep dungeon armor it is so good because of the way it shades the way it looks it's a fantastic armor set now granted you do have to buy the dungeon key to get it so it's not technically free but still it's seen as a time investment because you have to play the dungeon to get it and there's a lot of content like that in destiny right root of nightmares has a really cool set as well of course you also have to buy lightfall to get that armor set i think vault of glass honestly has one of my favorite armor sets in the game and you can play that for free as a free-to-play player which is a cool thing I, I believe you can get everything from free from, from that raid. I could be wrong, because I'm, I've never played as a free-to-play player. Maybe someone can answer that in the comments, but again, that's something that's really cool. I think you can kind of adopt the mindset, but if you're Bungie, right? If you give out one armor set for free, right? Then you hook someone for at least one season, then technically, the armor set wasn't hooked for free. I know it's kind of like girl math, but when you think about it, they come in for the armor set and they they get hooked on the game again right sound like a broken record but but this is true you know then they go and they pay for the season you can view the season being bought as money that you got for the skin that you gave away for free and and that's again how all that's how all skins should be but that's we're, we're talking about an ideal world right where the corporate side of bungie doesn't exist but it does I'm just going to go back to the Fortnite Battle Pass for one moment. Just one moment, okay? Just bear with me here. So the, the Battle Pass that I bought for Fortnite was because of the Ahsoka collab. And I am a huge Ahsoka fan, okay? Clone Wars, don't even get me started. We love Ahsoka Tano in this house. And the reason why it was so nice is because I actually did a lot of the Battle Pass that season. And you get so much V-Bucks. From just doing the battle pass. V-Bucks are essentially the silver of Destiny if you've never played Fortnite. And the reason why that's so great is because my investment, again, it feels powerful. If you spent $10 on the season pass for Destiny and you got, let's let's just say a thousand silver, right? You play for each of the four seasons in a year, that's four thousand silver. That equates to one collab armor set, plus, you know, whatever else you want to get with that 1,000 silver left over, or how, mu how much they, they deem the collab set is worth. So that gives you so much for your investment. And they could hike it up, like let's say there's bonuses after you complete the 100 levels in the season pass. Like every 10 levels you get maybe 100 silver, which trust me, there are a lot more people you think then you think, excuse me, that that play after they reach 100. You see people with level 500, level whatever. If you just got to 200, right? That's essentially, I think, uh, a thousand more silver. Like it's a lot. It adds up. So this is just, this is just basic ways that you can reward people for simply playing the game every day and investing their time into your game. And I, I so hope that Bungie. If you're listening to this, just consider it, please, because people would be so much happier. And the reason why, I, I again, we have this power is because if we don't buy Final Shape, if we don't buy the collab sets, if we call out things like the starter pack for what they are, malicious can't greed campaigns, then we can get to a point where Bungie has to change not out of a a want from the community not out of a desire but out of a need from the sheer fact that they need to change that they can't afford to stay the same anymore and this this is just true this is it's so true and you know laying off eight percent of their work 
force it sucks that's a consequence that that we're not responsible for because the changes that were needed to make the future of the game better weren't made at least not immediately and in order for those changes to be made well people have to listen within the, the company for those changes to be enacted for the power of the community to be heard and now i think we're seeing the impact of that moving forward let's say that everything is smooth sailing with final shape and and worst fears are realized and bungie returns to their old ways a lot of people think that after final shape marathon is going to be the cash cow for for bungie and that's just not going to happen right marathon got pushed back too like it's so far out now and without episodes without the future of destiny there is no marathon so bungie has to continue to pump content out for the community otherwise there again it's just not going to happen so again we still have that power so keep that in mind if you want to see more change in destiny then you have to to vote with your wallet i i know it, it's you've been hearing it so much but it's so true if you don't want to see the change and you want just you know i, I don't want to say that you have to not spend money on destiny and some people will say yes you you have to continue to buy the content in order to to make the change out no you don't you don't you honestly don't you can you can if you really hate destiny that much or you hate bungie that much stop playing the game it, it will be better for your health in the long run and it'll be better for bungie because again they'll see the players dropping off and they'll be like wow we really need to change we need to do something so again that's one option that's one option the other way is you can you can come here you can come down you can voice your your opinion in the comments section down below on reddit or wherever you see fit and maybe a bungee dev will see it and they'll go okay yeah this is definitely something that that needs attention because you know i know that, that the community team might have gotten laid off and some of them can't really listen to us anymore or they're outsourcing it but trust me devs are chronically online maybe not chronically but they're online okay and they see stuff like this and and they know they know things need to change so hopefully they can get that message through to the people at bungie who need to hear it so it can happen but anyways i've ranted for for too long in this video and i apologize <laughs> but man i'm just so passionate about this stuff I'm, I'm happy to see people engaging in my comment section even if some people are a little bit more passionate than i would recommend being about destiny i, I mean I, i'm one to speak i can't really say anything on it because i'm the same way so yeah like if you enjoyed the video again comment your opinion down below but please be respectful of both me and even the devs because I think most of them want this type of change, but again, corporate greed just gets in the way of some of that change. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.